Today we are talking about undervalued dividend stocks that investors can buy at a great price if they want to earn passive income. For more videos on the best stocks to buy, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and now let's get into the video. Dividend stocks have consistently been a favorite among investors, providing a dependable income stream while enhancing portfolio returns over time. These investments become even more appealing when they are undervalued dividend stocks. Historically, dividend stocks have outperformed all other classes of stocks since 1930. Research from the Hartford Funds reveals that over the past 95 years, stocks on the Standard and Poor's 500 that have initiated and increased their dividends have never experienced a losing decade. Through periods of global conflict and health crises, income-generating stocks have proven to be the most reliable investments, a claim unmatched by any other stock category. The success of dividend stocks is logical. Companies offering dividends are typically robust businesses that have weathered numerous economic cycles. With prudent management and a cautious outlook, these companies have navigated challenges effectively, sharing their success and profits with shareholders. Despite the bullish market and their varied performances, these stocks currently represent some of the best investments available. While Tesla often captures attention in the electric vehicle sector, Ford stands out as an underappreciated player. United States sales in the second quarter increased by 0.8% and were 3.6% higher for the first half of 2024, driven primarily by hybrid and electric vehicles. Hybrid vehicle sales surged by 55.6% in the quarter, with a record 53,822 vehicles sold, largely due to the light-duty Maverick. This model constitutes nearly 44% of total hybrid volume for the first six months of the year. Notably, 59% of all Maverick buyers were considering other brands but switched to Ford for the truck's versatility. Jim Farley, Ford's president and CEO, remarked earlier this year that the Maverick is one of their fastest growing vehicles. The demand is so high that Ford anticipates potential supply issues. Furthermore, F-150 hybrid pickups experienced a 38% sales increase in the second quarter, with the Escape rising by 35% during the same period. Ford, having shifted its focus from battery electric vehicles to hybrids, is now reaping significant benefits. Although Ford's stock has increased by 7% in 2024, it trades at less than seven times next year's earnings. With a dividend yield of 5.3% annually, Ford is a compelling undervalued dividend stock. Benchmark Electronics, a small cap leader, has seen its stock rise by 41% this year and 51% over the past 12 months. This semiconductor capital equipment manufacturer is a hidden gem in the artificial intelligence sector, providing design, engineering, technology, and manufacturing services for original equipment manufacturers, as well as serving the aerospace, defense, and medical industries. The widespread adoption of artificial intelligence across various markets, including semiconductors, has driven a sales surge for Benchmark. Semiconductor sales, its largest market, saw a 12% revenue increase, while aerospace sales soared by 35%. Adjusted profits grew by 8% to $0.55 cents per share. Since initiating its first quarterly dividend in 2018 at $0.15 cents per share, Benchmark has steadily increased its payout, with a starting yield of 1.7% annually. With a free cash flow payout ratio of just 24%, there is ample room for future growth. Another undervalued stock is Universal, the largest global supplier of tobacco leaf. Universal's clientele includes major cigarette manufacturers such as Altria, British American Tobacco, and Philip Morris International, as well as China Tobacco International, the world's largest cigarette maker. Universal's future growth is promising as smoking continues to increase in China, despite its decline in the United States. Statista estimates the Chinese market will reach $282.9 billion this year, with annual growth of 1.6% through 2029. Universal boasts a 54-year history of raising its dividend, earning the title of Dividend King. The dividend has grown at a near 5% compounded annual growth rate over the past decade, with a current yield of 6.8% annually. Recognizing the declining domestic tobacco market, Universal is diversifying into plant-based ingredients and food products. Although still a small segment, this business is expanding. President and CEO George Freeman stated that Universal has entered several new partnerships to supply innovative products leveraging its new capabilities. Cardinal Health, a major player in the medical supplies and drug distribution industry, had approximately $190 billion in United States drug sales last year, accounting for one quarter of the total market. Alongside Syncora and McKesson, Cardinal Health supplies 90% of the market. 
Cardinal serves nearly 90% of all United States hospitals, over 60,000 United States pharmacies, and more than 10,000 specialty physician offices and clinics. Additionally, it provides more than 3.4 million patients with over 46,000 home healthcare products, although inflation and supply chain issues impacted sales and profits in fiscal 2023, the situation has since improved, and the Federal Reserve may begin lowering interest rates by year-end. While Cardinal will face ongoing challenges, these should diminish over time. Consequently, Cardinal is likely to raise prices and benefit from an improving economy. Cardinal Health has increased its dividend for 27 consecutive years, making it a dividend aristocrat. The payout yields 2.1% annually. Enterprise Products Partners, a middleman in the oil and gas industry, presents an attractive business model with steady revenue flows. However, its status as a master limited partnership complicates investment due to complex tax issues. Master limited partnerships must distribute 90% or more of their profits to investors as dividends, introducing intricate tax considerations. Nonetheless, for those who can navigate these complexities, Enterprise Products Partners offers a dividend yield of 7.3%. The company, which owns storage and pipeline transportation, profits regardless of the direction of oil and gas markets due to long-term fixed contracts. With favorable long-term prospects for the oil and gas industry, Enterprise Products Partners is an appealing undervalued dividend stock. RTX, the second largest defense contractor, formerly known as Raytheon, manufactures various defense systems, with missile systems being a key component. RTX produces the Patriot missile system, Stinger and Javelin missiles, high-speed anti-radiation missiles, and national surface-to-air missile systems. The company ended 2023 with a record order backlog of $196 billion. The ongoing war in Ukraine has significantly increased demand for RTX's weapons systems. The company secured $282 million for national surface-to-air missile systems for Ukraine, $1.6 billion for Patriot systems for Germany, $818 million for Patriot-guided enhanced missiles for NATO, and $874 million for various international orders. RTX's annual dividend of $2.46 yields 2.6%. The company has paid dividend every year since 1936 and has increased it for 30 consecutive years, making RTX an undervalued dividend stock. In a summary, the current market offers several undervalued dividend stocks that present strong investment opportunities. Ford's strategic pivot to hybrids benchmark electronics position in the AI market, Universal's expansion beyond tobacco, Cardinal Health's extensive distribution network, Enterprise Products Partners' resilient business model, and RTX's robust defense portfolio all exemplify the potential for solid returns and reliable income. Investing in these undervalued dividend stocks could provide substantial benefits for investors seeking stability and growth. For more videos, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next video.